Hello and welcome to the second part of the demo regarding cost estimation with quantity structure. Uh, the first step is I would like to show you which element I will use for my cost estimation, which includes a logistics element. First, I want to show you my material, master data. Logistics Material Management, Material Master, and I want to display MM03. So, these four views accounting one, accounting two, costing one, costing two, and our plant. My plant in this case is 1710. So, I would like to show you the press control which is S for company code currency and S for group currency. So it's okay. View accounting one. And also in view costing two, you can find the price control is S, which is a standard, which is the, the price control we need to to use for the our simulation, okay? So let's move on. And right now, I want to show you the elements I use for my cost estimation, which includes elements of production, logistic production. Bill of material, work centers and routines. So I will start with bill of material. And I want to display only a bill of material I use for my product, for, for my material, which is this material, 1710 is my, my main material. Okay, that has two components. The, the, the first component has itself another bill of material and I want to show you it. This is my, my bill of material of the sub material of the of the material behind the main material. Okay, and I'm gonna only display and let's move on. And I wanna show you not 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 in detail work centers because I wanna work centers are included in routines. I wanna show you. My, the routines I, I use for, for my cost estimation. So I will display. And in, in this case, I want to show you the header of my routine and I want to show you that if, if you didn't see I, I use the main material 1710 and two sub material behind it that also need the, the routine so I included in the in the same group the three materials okay just yes, because I want to show you later when I, when I show the cost estimation itself, you will see it clearly. So let's move on. Um, here, very important, the usage production and overall status release in general. 
Um, I have to change it because in the, in, 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 la, in the last demo I used another, another status, which was number three. But in this case, I change I change the, the the routine for for I push release but for costing no but the more accurate the most accurate is release in general number four okay you have to use one use such production and status release in general. Okay, I have to change it. Uh, you, you can you can change it uh, whenever you want. Okay, so this is in, in the part of routines. Another uh, question about routines is that you have to be care be, be careful of the kind of ma material. You use for the routine. You have to allow the routine for different kind of materials. If you want to include different kinds of materials in your group, in your routine group. For instance, I had to do uh, a sin, the material type CFG to the routine. If I didn't allow it, you you will have a, an error that your routine is not correctly created. Okay, so for avoiding the, the error, you can use the transaction op five zero. Okay, so let's move on, and I want to show you now my cost estimation with quantity structure of the main material. So I want to create it. My material will be this, 1710 part, cosine variant PPC1. I show you in the first demo uh, the elements of the of my cosine variant and I, and I, will, I will use this cosine variant. Okay, enter date. Date in the future. Uh, we are in January, so the, the dates are in the next period, which is, starts in 1st of February. And in quantity structure, I want to add six and below materials and group. The group I, I already created um, five zero 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 zero. Mm. Okay, enter. Ah, this is my my estimation. This estimation has three three parts. The, to the left, you have the cosine structure. I I. I told you, you you will see it more more clear if I show you that the row one that row row one and cycle depends on my first material that is <laughs> depends on the, the main the main material. These these are two two bill of material one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and four, and another bit of material, row one and cycle. Okay, so and I want to show you cost of gold manufacture, and I want to show you that personal time, machine time, and set up time. Uh, Sorry, I forgot to show you the, the details of minutes in, in my in my routine. I'm gonna show you now. Here, set up machine and labor. I put 10, 15, and 20 minutes. At 3, 1, and, and 11. 
which are the, the, the data that, that the system takes for the, the cost estimation. Personnel, machine, and setup time. Okay? My, my mm, cost estimation is taking these elements and, and the material. So, in, in the left side is the cost industry tour. Here is the, the detail of the cost component views, different cost component views. For instance, uh, this is and this is the same. This is total cost for, for in this case it are are the same total cost. And uh, since there, there is no sales and administration cost. And here there are the cost components. Cost component, the material, person time, machine time, and setup time, which belongs to the routine. I, I showed you before. So there is, if you have to check um, the log with, with the errors here. In this case, there, there's no error, just the loss side taking for cost in view. It's not a, an important error. So let's go back and I want to save my, my, my cost estimation with quantity structure. So my cost estimation is be saved. And for the next video, I want to show you a cost in run which is a, a step ahead of, of this cost estimation with quantity structure. So uh, let, I hope you, you have enjoyed this, this short demo. Um, good evening to, to everybody. See you, see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you so much.